This is the story of the routes to freedom of the prisoners of war from Stalag 8B Lambsdorff and a map. This is an important story for me because my father was one of more than 20,000 men who walked from the camp in Poland across the Czech Republic into Germany on what is known as the Lambsdorff Long March. My father was captured in May 1940 in France. He arrived at Stalag 8B in June 1941. The map was made in the spring of 2020 as part of the commemorations of the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Allied prisoners of war. It shows the individual routes taken by 48 men on their journey to freedom, although none of them knew that this would be the outcome of the journey when they started. Just imagine you've been a prisoner for maybe five years, five long years when you've been forced to work with little food to sustain you, locked in compounds, sleeping in huts with bunk beds three layers high. You're given perhaps just two hours in which to prepare for your departure on foot with a temperature at 20 degrees below freezing. Private Alan Forster's march began on the 18th of January 1945. We were told to be ready for a 2.30am move off. What a night. Air raids off and on. A bomb ten yards from the camp. We eventually paraded about seven o'clock and after being warned that any man breaking ranks would be shot, we staggered off on a perfectly horrible march to Dombrovo, owing to snow, carrying too much kit. Most men never talked of their time on the long march. Fortunately, some did. Frank Hughes wrote, The guards were under strict instructions to keep their column moving all the time. If a man stumbled or fell and another stopped to give help, he was hit with a rifle. Many men were dragged by their arms by comrades rather than leave them behind. Henry Silk on the 28th of April near Mooseburg wrote, we could sense the uneasiness amongst the guards. At 8.15, American infantrymen walked into the yard to a hearty greeting from the lads. The guards surrendered. Three to four hours later, tanks and infantrymen moved into the area. Small bands of the SS were still holding out, but were soon dealt with. At 7pm, orders to march to Mooseburg. Columns of troops passing us in the opposite direction. A lovely sight. A few days before this, my father sent a letter. My dear mother, it is a great joy to be able to write to you again. On Monday last I was released, so I have been a free man for four days. Tomorrow we start our journey home and expect to arrive in England on Sunday. How great it is. I have so much to tell you but must wait a few more days. For my dad, <coughs> war was over, but for many prisoners from Stalag 8B, there were many more days of the long march to endure. Dad was a prisoner of war for 1,800 days. His long march lasted 92 days, and he walked over 800 kilometres. My father was an ordinary man, like most on the long march. These ordinary men, though, somehow managed to survive the extraordinary. Some did not survive. We will remember them.